Welcome back, everyone, to the Crimson Court. Welcome back to the stream. Thank you very much for sticking through the break. Appreciate it. We've got the flagellant boys. And uh, someone just mentioned in chat... Sabakun just said, apparently you can only have one flagellant at a time? That's interesting. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Pumpkin Minion! Welcome to the Bear Pile, buddy. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime... Or, sorry, normal subscription right there. Appreciate that. Welcome on into the pile. Thank you very much. All right. So that is, yeah, that is a very interesting uh, piece of information there, too. So, let's go ahead. Let's use the flagellant, shall we? We got a frontline healer here. What can we do with him? First of all, we should make sure you, uh, the skills that he's got will be uh, suitable for this spot. And it looks like it indeed will be. Man. This is very interesting. I I want to unlock his other ones as well. I don't know if I necessarily want to spend the money just yet. Is there a jester? There is. Oh yeah, we gotta get the jester, man. We gotta get the jester. He will be laughing still at the end. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and grab another arbalist as well. I really like the arbalist. And I have uh, found myself in need of some good backline damage threats quite often. So. Oh man, that Fear of Beast Warrens tactician is an unfortunate combination. Who's got the better skills right out of the gate that I'll just spend less money on? I guess it's going to be Ponta Hardon. We'll also Shoot, rename. Bandage and pillage. Mm-hmm. The dancing steps of war. Supersonic Seagull! Here's some salt for when the first Hellion dies so you don't have to take bathroom breaks. Thanks, buddy. Uh, let me go ahead and reset the raffle here as well. Got a couple more folks to uh, rename. Subscribers, go ahead and make yourself known. We'll draw new names for the uh, two members of the roster. That is our Jester and our Arbalist. And uh, while you guys are doing that, let me go ahead and try to put together a party here as well. So we'll throw the fla Flagellant in spot two. Gonna have to go through either the Warrens or the Cove here. I think I'm gonna go Warrens. Warrens for the... Well, no, hold on, because the, the Bleed... We can get rid of the... No, no, we can't get rid of the Bleed from him, but we could transfer if I were to unlock... No, I have Suffer. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's go to the Cove with him. That'll be good. That'll be good. I like that. Okay. Plenty of folks here to rename these guys. Let's go ahead and do it real quick. First draw is going to be... Milus. Milus, you are our new Jester. Congrats, buddy. Now here with the Arbalist. Another one. It's going to be relatively relativistic. So relativistic is going to be the name here. Relative... Stick. That's how you spell that. Good stuff. There we are. Thank you guys again for the subscriptions and being awesome. Appreciate you. Congrats on the roster spots. All right. Let's build it, buddy. Build it and they will come. We've got so much stress to deal with still. I probably should go ahead and commit some folks. Four flagellants just pass influenza around every turn. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds effective. What if we took a Jester? No, I don't think that's a good idea. I should probably go ahead and grab the Occultist again. But Evla, oh yeah, Evla's in a bad spot. Goodness. Do we have maybe another person in the stagecoach? Got another Arbalist. That's not really gonna work out all that great. Our, our healers are all fucked, man. This is kind of bad. I'd love to bring the Occultist out. That's just not an option. I think I've got to commit a couple of folks. I might have to get rid of Olaf. The blood! I must have the blood! Olaf, I'm sorry, pal. <laughs> you, you weren't wrong with that death sentence being renamed as the Hellion. That is not looking good. Oh, I guess I don't really need a healer with the Flagellant, do I? Maybe I should consider that. I've got the Arbalist and the Flagellant. You know what? I could probably go ahead and do this. And then just throw a Jester in there. I should be a soldier against corruption. Yeah, this will probably work, right? Because I've got the heals, I've got... Well, no, he needs to get something else, right? He needs to get redeem, I think. But he can't use that until he's weak enough. So I'll have to consider that. He's gonna heal over time, which is really cool. Hmm... Warrens with that comp? Yeah, the Warrens might be better with this. I was thinking the Cove just because of the, uh... Just because of the Flagellant, but you may be right. The, the Warrens is probably better suited for this team. I haven't managed to kill off any Hellions, no. I'm pretty sure we haven't killed anybody at all. 
which is always a good feeling. We can actually use a trinket too, cool. Might even take disease resistance. Yeah, I'll go ahead and throw that on the leper, why not? Yeah, okay, cool. This'll work. I think I'm gonna unlock his self heals. I don't really expect to be using revenge all that much. I will go ahead and commit a couple of folks here as well. I'm not gonna worry about the rabies just yet, but I am gonna worry about the stress and I might even have to dump off Olav, but let's just wait until I know whether or not I wanna make space in the roster. Uh, Catster is, is also rank zero. I might not wanna do him. Evlo, I want to put in the brothel. If I have that option, and indeed I do. Let's get that. They changed Intimidate a little, did they? Ooh, snap. I might have to look at that one. Okay, I'm going to hold off on Catsters for now. Let me take this leper into the guild. Yeah, I love the way the flagellant looks. I agree. It looks pretty awesome. Oh, I should just... I should do this. Right? Or should I get rank 2? I mean, it's a better idea to get rank 2. But none of these guys are above level 0, so maybe not for this lot. Probably soon, but not quite. And then, I don't need the stress heal. I do have a Jester coming around with us, so maybe I won't worry about that one. Let's make sure he's got the right skills as well, though. Yeah, he is going to have to unlock Sp Inspiring Tune. I think I'll take Slice off as well. And then the Arbalist probably needs to change to the Battlefield Bandage, too. God damn, we spent a lot of money. I might have wanted to actually take that upgrade after all. And then the Flagellant as well. The Flagellant needs Redeem. And Endure. And I almost want to give him Reign of Sorrows, but I'm not going to. Not going to. Check the entry log, please. What's the entry log? You talking about this? Ooh, you're talking about... Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, God! Let's get rid of them. Bye! See ya! Bye, Olav! Sorry! Sorry, pal! Suffer not the lame horse. Nor the broken man. Ew. I would like for them not to have to worry about combating their urges. Yucky. Okay. Now it's time to go. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. There's not a lot we can do for him. He's he's pretty far gone. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Warrens. I'm gonna close that raffle too. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't remember to do that. Okay. Cool. Great bear, you've now unleashed them on the world. Right, yeah, no, they, they're not my problem anymore. They're just the rest of the world's issue. Warren's couple of extra torches is merited. I think the bandages may not even really be necessary here, but I'll grab a couple. And then keys, shovels. Still a short dungeon, obviously. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Let's do it. Let's get the Warren started, baby. And try out the Flagellant. Why Blood Moon difficulty? I was having trouble on normal. Well, I'm starting to maybe regret my choice, too. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. And I know the Abomination has the Crimson Curse, too. I want to hold off on him still. I'm sort of curious to see what happens if I leave him alone and... to his own devices there. Sizemek, I love you, too. Thanks for sharing the love. Let's check out the flagellants animations here. Hey, great start. Looking good. Ambushed by foul invention. Looking good. Yeah, test field for the flagellant, man. We're gonna try this out. The DLC is wonderful so far, Kuka. Totally loving it. Oh, I did not change his skills. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna have to do that. Uh just these two, right? Yeah, so we can still use Harvest, which is very good here. We could also Battle Ballad. But let's start bleeding. A decisive pummeling. Very nice. How quickly the tide turns. He loves it. He welcomes it. That's such a cool animation, man. Yeah, he's just, dude, that pose, he is totally like fucking bring it on. Feed me. I crave the flesh. Punish! Stag that bleed up, baby. And blind fire kind of works here. Bull is also not bad. So I think that bleed might be enough to take him out, yeah. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Come at me, bro. Yeah, dog. 
Pretty strong with that first attack. It's feeling good. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay. Not too shabby, man. We definitely need to get some stress healing going. Hopefully we can switch that off after this fight real quick. Yeah, good guy. That's getting real bad real fast. Let's see here. Uh, I almost want to, like... I want to just start dealing damage to the flagellant myself to gain access to those next level moves. Because he actually can't exa exanguinate right now. Exanguinate. I guess that's how you say that, right? Ooh, Leper might be able to get him with a chop. Damn it. I uh, couldn't tell you, Sleepy. There's a chance that they're uh, going through some going through some bugs here in the uh, initial release of the DLC, so you might want to contact Red Hook if you're having some issues. Yo, the flagellate, though, he's got some good damage. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Oh, it's exsanguination. I, I see. I see. He's hitting pretty hard, man. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Bada bing, bada boom. You know what? I think there's a chance of negative stress from this, but that's good for him. I will also take that. A massive buff for the entire dungeon. Not bad. Not bad at all. And you know what? I don't even need to fight this battle. We could just go that way. But I might be able to stress heal too. Sanguinate the Kate. Wait, what? No, what does that mean? I don't know if that's a good idea. Probably shouldn't say that. Why'd you make me read that out loud, Dirt Moo? God damn it. Oh, man. That, that bleeds for four. That's insanely good for apprentice level. Flagellant is strong. My goodness. Change the flagellant skills as well? What were we going to do here? We were going to throw on... Oh, yeah, we probably want to swap off Suffer for Endure, right? Yeah, Endure would actually be phenomenal right now. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll do that next time. Their formation is broken. Nice! Maintain the offensive. Oh, Red Hook's awesome. Cool. Thanks, Red Hook. I love you guys. Oh, this is perfect for the... Uh for the flagellants move as well. We're totally gonna suffer next turn. Another one fall. Nice! Here it is, ready? Oh, that's so cool. That's such a cool mechanic, man. I love that. Don't say <laughs> Yeah, we can't. Don't let him know. Red Hook's hosting me. Can't let him know that the flagellant's super OP right now. Don't change him. I promise. I promise he's fine. Just leave him this way. I'm actually not sure. I've only used him like a little while here. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. This is indeed the Crimson Cord, yes. Well, we're gonna let him bleed, obviously. Alright, let's see. I'm a little worried about my leper's health. We have to go this way anyway, so we might as well and try to avoid that uh, hallway fight. Extra food would be wonderful. That's good. Holy shit. That'll do the job. Oh god. Well, hey, but that's good. Yay. Find that such missteps are the exception <laughs> and not the rule. Oh man, I already fucking love the fact that I can be excited about negative things happening to the flagellate, man. Like that makes me so happy. Oh, I keep forgetting to swap his skills. Yeah, my bad. That's... That is continually eluding my mind. I really should be using his stress heal, too. I'm way too high on a few other folks, and I gotta be... Yeah, like, this would be so perfect to use Endure here right now. But let's see. Let's do, um... I don't need to suffer anymore. I'm close to Exsanguinate. Exsanguinate. Sorry. How about... Man, that heal is really just not all that great. I think I'm probably just better off doing a punish here, and I can probably kill him with one shot. 
Bleed it? Beautiful. Also don't have her heal equipped. I definitely want to swap off the rallying flare. I was not paying enough attention this time. Bleh. Mmm, yeah. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay, okay. I think I could be healing or er, handling this whole situation a little more effectively. If I had swapped the proper skills off, I think we'd be in a much better spot. Alright, now let's go ahead and stress heal. Well, hold on though. Yeah, I guess so. The Rage Book or whatever it's called is good on him. Are you talking about the, uh... What are you talking about? I'm not sure which one you're talking about. I think you may be talking about the Martyr Seal? Which is one we've definitely, uh... Considered as an uh, incredible option for him. Not be left unanswered. Would obviously be wonderful. Minimum hits every single time. Hooray. No anti-venom, so I guess we'll just try to clear out the corpses here. Oh, I could have just intimidated. Oh, wait, no. That's not, that's not the purge. That's right. Never mind. Thank you for dodging that. Yeah, I was sort of welcoming it on him, but everybody else sort of needs some help with the stress. Soon as this fight is done. Oh, hey, look, we can finally exsanguinate. Bleeds for a ton. Also heals myself. I gotta try this. Holy fuck! Even with that debuff, wow! Dude! A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. So good! That's fucking nuts! Okay, we'll take off Suffer. Oh man, I really- I want to have both of these available, man. So we can- this is a pretty- right here? I think this is a good kit for him at the moment. Punish is obviously a wonderful frontline damage option no matter what. Exsanguinate- or exsanguinate once we have the option to do so, along with Redeem, and we can just endure otherwise. Suffer is a good one to have too, but I like this. This is a pretty solid staple build for him, I think, at the moment. What a cool class, man. I'm so excited to use him more. What a unique idea. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Let's go ahead and keep that torchlight up there too. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Antiquarian plus Flagellant? Are you kidding me? That is just... broken. Real fucking good. And now, I think I'll go ahead and redeem... Or no, endure, sorry, on the Jester from the Flagellant, which means I'm probably okay to go ahead and harvest. A devastating blow. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah, Arbalist might need some heals, too. We'll see what happens. I think I want to try to get him even maybe to a resolve check. I could punish as well, but this is pretty helpful still. Endure. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Dragon Max! Welcome to the Bear Pile, Dragon Max. Thanks for the subscription. Appreciate it, buddy. Welcome on into the pile. Some bear hugs, please, in the chat, if you wouldn't mind. Nearly below 50% again. I need to get her bandage equipped. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Should I kill him or should I kill him? I think I need to kill him. Well struck. That'll do. And then a hue is not bad. Pretty likely to kill this guy. Nice. Really got to get that bandage up. There's more stress. Oh god. Come on. I think running a flagellant with martyr seal and tempting goblet is good. That sounds good to me, OP. Seems pretty effective. I might slice off this guy, but I could also go for a little bit more stress healing. Gotta do a 4x flagellant with Martyr Seal sometime. Oh god. Well, I mean, I could very well go ahead and bring on the, uh... Bring on the check this time. I could also kill you with the punish. Almost certainly gonna land the bleed as well. 
Eh, sure. Really wish he was below 50%. He's super close to it, too. Oh, well. He also doesn't have his self-heal equipped. God, I failed to really prepare myself well at all for this. Could have been so much better if I had the right stuff. Oh, well. Also not the right target there, sadly. Vertigo! Yay! Okay, one more stress heal, I guess. I guess. And then... You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Rapturous. So that's the new check for the, uh... For the flagellant. He can't actually become virtuous. He can, he can only be afflicted and only be afflicted with this... Rapturous mechanic. So I'm curious to see what's gonna go on with that. Okay. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. And friggin' finally, we'll go ahead and fix up this stuff, too. Oh, I didn't give him Solemnity. I gave him Withstand, but that's probably fine, too. Two damage from the bandage. I can probably survive. Let's see how he fares as the uh, rapturous flagellant. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Mm-hmm. Keep that torch light up. There we go. Bounty Hunter has a new attack that replaced Hook and Slice. It's called Caltrops, right? And I'm curious to see that, too. Here we go. Definitely gonna punish to start off with, maybe even get a kill. Back to the pit. Fucking A, dude. Arsiac, my man. I think I'll keep trying to stress heal, actually. Hey, Z Shadow, welcome. Hugh for the double kill? Executed with impunity. Almost, almost. And then maybe. I think I should just kill you. His stats are insane, man. Not to mention, he still is rocking this plus 15% damage, plus 10 accuracy, plus 5 crit that we found at the start, which is pretty fucking nice for him. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. What is he getting from Rapturous? Hold on a second. How is he benefiting from this? Curio, Curio. Oh, those are all the Curios, that's right. Plus three speed from the affliction, plus 25% damage from the affliction. Minus 20 dodge from the affliction, but a huge damage bonus. That's awesome. Oh yeah, right, now we have the, uh, the other options available now too. So how about, ooh, like this. That's so good! That's so good! Holy fuck! He is awesome, man! Also, I'm not really sure why I'm healing him, but this is the uh, last fight of the dungeon after all. I'd love to stress heal a little bit before we bounce, though. Let me, uh, yeah, I think the flies won't be able to target him anyway, so let me go ahead and try to bring the leopard down. Yeah, you purposely afflict him for sure. You definitely want to get him up to Rapturous as soon as you can. Yay, minimum Arbalist damage. You have Useless sidekick. Welcome on into the bear pile. Welcome back to the bear pile. Rather useless sidekick with the two months in a row. Unplanned anniversary on the day of the new DLC. Sounds good to me. Hell yeah, dude. Bring it on in with that two months. Appreciate it. Oh, come on, we're not wasting time, you liar. We're going as quickly as the process will allow here. Although, oh god. Oh, he can still add stress on, I guess, too, which sort of sucks. But we definitely have more stress now than we did at the start of this fight, sadly. The pain eases the burden. Oh! Well, that's not good. All right, so I guess that can happen. Success so clearly in view. 
Or is it merely a trick of the light? Admiral Sven. Bear. Hey, buddy. Thanks for the bits. Some experiments should have never happened. You are doing just work ending them. Just dude just needs to flagellate. He just gotta flagellate every now and then. He could kill a teammate. Yeah, I guess that's the trade-off you make. 25% damage bonus, but he might accidentally murder someone that you love. Whoopsie. Oh, nice. Deadly flagellant. That thing is awesome, man. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Damn it. Hold on now. Evlo has controlled the urges of their Crimson Curse for now. I assume the same is to be said of Catsters, right? Evlo is exhausted after exertions in the brothel. Wayne, New Wayne June's new lines are Eargasm. God, yes they are. He makes the game. He really does. I'm so glad they got him for this. How about we leave him rapturous? Why would I heal him? Let's just leave him that way. And let's, uh, uh, you know what, Catsters, I'm sorry. I think you might have to go. Let's have a look at the uh, available stagecoach options. There's a new bounty hunter, a grave robber as well. I might need to take that occultist too, but Evlo is available again. Bear, he will literally kill your team. Well, don't spoil it for me, jeez. Let me find that out on my own, if that can happen. Hey, Shin. Yeah, I wanna, I'm, I'm gonna, like, I, I'd like for natural discoveries to happen here, so... Do allow me to discover things for myself, if you wouldn't mind. Dapper Gent! Had to run with three heroes becoming virtuous. Here's some bits in that you may have similar luck. It was ridiculous. That's awesome, man. Thank you. God damn. All right, we'll grab these two. The thrill of the hunt. And the promise of payment. Mendo the warrior. The subscription that never ends with 38 months in the pile. Good God. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get the subscribers back on again. Subs hit that exclam raffle to be uh, renamed as either our bounty hunter or our new grave robber here. And uh, let's have a look in the meantime at what we need to fix. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Catsters. I'm sorry, pal. I'm sorry. You got to go. You got to go. I can't do it. Suffer not the lame horse, nor the broken man. And with that being the case, I think I may even go ahead and grab another occultist here. We've got two, right? No, we've only got the one. Okay, I'm gonna take this one for now. To fight the abyss, one must know it. So there's that. And apologies if we uh, brought you into the roster only to really kick you out like that. It's it's a damn shame. I know. I wish it could be different. Bounty hunter, our new bounty hunter. Oh shoot! The raffle's closed. <laughs> it broke. No! Alright, hit me with the raffle again. Hit me with, with the raffle again, chat. My bad. Moobot got fucked. We'll do that one more time. Uh, and meanwhile, let's see. We've only still got rabies right now. We got vertigo on that arbalist. Then rabies on both the Vestal and the Crusader still. I'm gonna leave him like that. I could go for some stress healing, but I could also probably stall. I may be okay to do that, too. We'll see what kind of team we can build with these guys. We'll look into our options. I might just have to clear through the cove real quick, too. All right, let's draw these names. Arakash. Our newest bounty hunter. Welcome, Arakash. To the fold. Our occultist. Shall be renamed. DJ Flock. DJ Flock, welcome on into the roster. And then finally, our Grave Robber. Another quick roll here from the raffle is going to be I Rules 33. I Rules 33. There you are, dude. Welcome to the roster. Thank you, Chill Reeve, for turning sub mode off. Sweet freedom for everyone. To the court! No, not quite, not quite. We got to go to the cove. 
I want the level two folks for the courtyard, man. I got to try to take it a little easier on myself. Gray NL with the $1 tip. Raffle machine broke. Yep, thank you. Got it, buddy. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. We're going cove. There's actually no Warren's missions at all. Synthetic mouse. 17 months in a row. Synthetic mouse. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Well, the occultist is certainly going to be a decent option for this place. Our plague doctor is still not really available. I think I'm going to go ahead and commit dirt moo. Just to have the plague doctor available in case we need it next time, and then we'll see Welcome about our other options. Joker to 86. Welcome to the bear pile. Thanks for the Twitch Prime subscription, buddy. Welcome on in. Thank you, thank you very, very much. You know, we could do mini mark party. We could do mini mark party. Going into the cove, this certainly isn't a terrible idea. And you know what? We could do a rank two occultist. How about this? How about we throw on the Hands from the Abyss, Vulnerability Hex, Weird Reconstruction, and Sacrificial Stab, and allow the Blight from the Grave Robber. Well, we do need his Hex as well. We'll have to unlock that. We can get Throne Daggers, of course, buffing from the Mark Target. There's no other Blight here, so perhaps I don't need to do that. We'll take out Flashing Daggers for the Throne Dagger, of course. Oh, yeah, and the Bounty Hunter's new ability. I forgot about that. Caltrops. You can do it from spot two, three, and four. It's a bleed with a debuff. Crazy a hole! Leopard Crusader, Occultist Plague Doctor is really good combo, double damage on the back and front. That does seem good. It does seem good, yeah. Gotta get our Plague Doctor ready again, though, of course. Thank you for the tip as well. Appreciate it. Yeah, weird reconstruction is now castable in all ranks. It's real nice. Phaonix! Now the true question, get the Crimson Court now or continue my Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin run? Tough choice, man. Tough choice. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the biddies. Yeah, let's see. Glass Cannon Crew, kind of. A little bit, you're not wrong about that. Not exactly a proper tank in mind with this, with this bunch. I'm also looking at the blacksmith potentially as an upgrade here, although I don't have enough deeds, sadly, so we're gonna have to work on that. We got a ton of crests and not very much of everything else, unfortunately. This will be going on the tubes, yes, Luxray, absolutely. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's do the guild first, let's unlock the things that I know I'm gonna be using here. Hands from the Abyss is almost certainly gonna be making an appearance at a rank 2 occultist, so let's go ahead and get that and that and that. Uh, he can use the Hex from the front, so that's all well and good. I think this is a pretty good uh, kit for him. Bounty Hunter is going to be using the Finish Him and the uh, Collect Bounty, of course. I probably want to go ahead and unlock his Mark. Replace the Flashbang with the Mark. Architects, you're welcome. So let's do that. And then the Grave Robber will need the Throne Dagger. And that might be all we do. I want to have Shadow Fade, but I can have Lunge available as well, and it doesn't necessarily fuck anything up. Zoke, have a wonderful night, buddy. Take it easy. Gotta get her marked, too. Okay. We'll take off Suppressing Fire. This is pretty good at any rate. Everybody's got their mark available. This is probably... This is probably gonna work, I think. Ceramical! Welcome. To the bear pile. Welcome to the bear pile, my friend. Seranical, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Appreciate that a lot. All right, do we have anything in particular for these guys? Do we do not? Let's throw the warrior's bracer up there on him, and I'm going to give the health stone to him as well, maybe. It's only three hit points, though. I'll tell you what, I think I'm just going to go ahead and not use it. I don't want to lose speed on anybody either. I think I'll just call this good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bear's famous last words. This is probably gonna work, I think. Maybe. Maybe this won't totally fail. We'll see. Let's find out together. Into the coat with a few bandages, couple of shovels, full stack of torches, couple of keys, all the herbs. By all, I mean three. No anti-venom is necessary. I think this'll do it. In we go. Off to the cove. Off to the cove. Why start a new run? We got the DLC, baby. 
With the Crimson Court, we gotta get a new estate, man. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. Not pelagic nightmares! They must be flushed out. You do not have to do the new- the, uh, Blood Moon difficulty to the, do the DLC, no. Absolutely not. I just- I'm just a masochist. That's all that really boils down to. Yay! Positive quirk! Yay! A pretty good positive quirk. Move resistance I think I undervalue. That stuff is pretty decent. Ambushed by bowel invention. And I have an extra herb, but I don't think I want to use it on that just yet. Yeah, sorry, Eve. Did we have to dump you off? Who did we dump off? We dumped off Catsters and we dumped off Olaf. I think that's the only two we dumped off. Are you? I think you're still around, Eve. Blood Moon is more or less mega hard, yes. It is this combination of Stygian Mode and the Crimson Court DLC, so it is going to be pretty tough. I don't think we're going to be marking targets here. In fact, I think the stun is going to be our best play. However, the Sacrificial Stab does have the bonus damage, of course, against the Eldritch target. But I'm pretty sure I still want to do this. Well struck. Very nice. Later on, Dan. A generous Raisin! With a $10 tip, love the series. Thanks for making mistakes so I don't have to. You got it, buddy. You can count on me for that. My Arbalist is co-phobic? Oh, boy. That's no good. Oh, I might have wanted to take the bonus stun damage there, but I'm also okay with the way that worked out. How about a pick to the face? Or do I want to go ahead and buff up the accuracy? It's probably a bad idea, or probably a decent idea, too. Mmm, let's kill you. Let's spread out the damage on everybody, shall we? Probably the smartest play I could have made. Ah, oh, that was... That was very questionable. I did prevent two of their attacks, at least, but now they very well may get the first bunch right here. Yeah, that's how it's gonna happen, okay. And everything is landing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, zero pity. Zero pity for my group. Okay, they got the first attack for everyone. So how do we fix this? I am going to... I'm going to spend the time on two heals here. One from the Occultist and one from the Arbalist. I'm going to try to fix him up. There we go. I hate these fish, too. I agree. These fish suck. That also really sucks. That's a big bummer. How am I going to deal with this? I really don't want to take a chance on that, so I think I'm going to... Well, you know what? I could uppercut here. And then hopefully we just, like, bola or something that might work. I mean, I could do that. 90% versus... What is this? 75? 85. And that will kill. I need a heal, but I could also get a kill on this guy. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That takes away a lot of damage, obviously. And there's number two. Okay, nice dodge. Makina, take it easy, buddy. Do you know about the new trinkets? I saw a dagger for the grave robber. Do you know something about it? I know that there are new trinkets, and I know that they have, uh... Synergies, like class sets, which I'm very excited to learn more about. Fuck. Oh, this is getting pretty bad, man. I gotta hit the back liners. It's gonna be you, I think. I'm gonna try to get uppercuts off from the bounty hunter basically all day long here. Give them no quarter. Okay, Coltus has got to get a big heal off. Let's try the uppercut again. And that way they don't actually have a way to target the back line, thankfully. They could go for the Occultus, but I'm willing to take that chance. I think I need to do the battlefield bandage. Or do I? No. I might be able to kill him first. Ooh. No, I got to heal. Hopefully Grave Robber. Grave Robber, come on! You're not fast enough? Jeez! Grave robber, please! Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Oh, she had a debuff. From what? That must have been I guess that was from the enemy. I didn't even notice that. Ah, bad rolls. Mobster lobster! Hey Bear, love your videos. I was wondering if you're still naming players after subs. I'd love to get a part of that. I am indeed, yes, sir. The fiend falls. Oh, it was the trap. The ah, that's right. That's right. That was the trap at the start of this one. Success I forgot. So 
clearly in view. Uh, I probably should have gone ahead and used an herb on that. Merely a trick of the light. That probably hurt us. Probably hurt us quite a bit. Yeah, I am doing the uh, subs for names of members of the party here. As you can see Arakash and the others there. Ancient traps lie in wait. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Boxcar Brown with the 500 bits. Thank you for the cheer, buddy. Very kind of you. Mm-hmm. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. All right. Physical damage is obviously the huge priority here. So it's probably going to be you first, followed by you. Not a good heal. Not great. Mm-hmm. What did you think of the flagellant? I loved it. I am so excited to use that, that uh, character class more. It looks like so much fun. It's such a unique, fun idea, man. Totally in love with the flagellant. Nice dodge. I need some big time help. What is this debuff here? It's going to be more stress received. That's probably fine. I think an uppercut on you is going to be a good idea as well. Might be able to knock him back. Okay, okay. Hopefully prevented a bleed there. I need to get a big time heal fast. New difficulty setting, it uh, applies the same restrictions. I can only lose so many characters, and I can only go for so many weeks before I uh, run into the time limit. All right, I was willing to take a chance on the lunge there. This is a terrible fight. This is really not looking good. Much, much worse now. There we go. The war can be healed. I love the new healing lines from Wayne. They're so good. I'm gonna go ahead and use a bandage, I think, on that one. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. And there we finally eliminated their primary physical damage dealer, but we are looking at a lot of potential for stress here, which is terrible. Pick to the face is decent, but it's really not gonna be all that good. No protection reduction from that either now. And he is super strong! Okay! This sucks. This totally fucking blows. I do indeed have some VO lines in the game. Coming on later down the road. Phionix! Don't worry, Bear, my Dark Souls run is currently going about as well as this dungeon. Alright, well, at least we're all suffering together. Oh, goodness. Way too much stress, man. I thought the physical damage was going to be the huge problem, but... Nope! Nope, it's these two. It's these two motherfuckers ruining my day. Can we maybe, maybe get a quick kill on you? I think I'm probably a lot better off going for the heal. Crit for four! Fuck yeah, man! Feeling good! Feeling great! Feeling perfect! 22. There it is. Still got to deal with this guy. And a lot of damage from you two and the bleed. Bunches and oodles of fun for the whole family. Literally a slow and insidious killer. Not wrong. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, this is just all kinds of bad. Let's reduce some protection here. And finally take advantage of that. There's another big one. Swimmingly, that is that's a bear pun, isn't it? The ground quake. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. I can't believe he can just decide to do that. Like why would you not do it every time? Why not always choose two targets with that move? Pot potato. What if Bear is secretly in, in, or, yeah, enjoying this terrible luck because it means we don't get to hear his voice acting? I don't ever have to go through the pressure of you guys actually hearing it. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Until you know I actually reach it myself, in which case I'm fucked. Speaking of being fucked... 
not feeling too great right now. A little concerned. A handsome reward for a task well performed. And I do have a shovel for that. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Very close to eating some food for the grave robber here too, but I'm still gonna wait. It's the same fucking fight. Nice dodge. Here I'm at, say hey, welcome. Still think I need to kill you, but everybody's stressed the fuck out now, so maybe... Maybe we do do this. And there goes one. Hey, I might have nearly avoided it. Nope. 19. Arakash, come on! Hopeless. There can be no hope in this hell. No hope at all. Oh, trust me, Wayne, I know. I know it, buddy. Oh, the cove has been brutal. They are not messing around in here. I did say doo-doo. That is... That is pretty funny, I'll admit. He said the poo-poo word. <laughs> What's Blood Moon difficulty? It's a combination of Stygian and Crimson Court. It is... Pretty hard. Although it doesn't really seem to change much of the uh, actual in-game stuff. But I can tell at least anyway. Let's get the kill. Let's just dodge. Be sad. Kotetsu steal! Jokes on you guys. Bears VO lines are the silence of the loading screens. <laughs> no, you saw the, um... Or you heard when I said yeah during the introductory cutscene? That was it. That was all I did. It was just me going, yeah! Yeah! It's a little weird. Doesn't really fit the theme of the game. I thought it bizarre that they asked me to do that. Oh, I'd love to reach you, and I think I can. Look at that. How about another one? Well, okay. That's kind of working out. Can you actually do anything from back there? No. Oh, snap! That's awesome. Yay! All right, we'll take another heal on the Arbalist if I get the opportunity here. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Owie! I am one point away on her. I just realized. Holy shit! The yeah is really important for setting the atmosphere. Good job, Red Hook. Okay, I'm glad you feel the same way. How much time went into that? Yeah, I think we did about 400 or 500 takes before we came across the the perfect one. The the Star Wars one! Many fall in the face of chaos, but not this one. Not today. Not today. Virtuous. The Virtuous Arbalist. Beautiful. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Alright, we're not quite done yet. Not quite dead yet. Same story, all right. How about we prevent another resolve check here? Obliterated. That'll do. That'll work. Ah ha! Yikes. Ooh, some stress healing. You need... Oh, you still have that healing receive bonus. Let's do that. Maybe a little late at this point, but... Might as well try to keep him alive. Or bleed him to death, you know, one or the other. Who does more damage? Probably you. Not that that matters! Crit! <laughs> she is one shot two enemies in this fight. Yay! Yay! No need. Grave robber OP, baby. Oh, perfect. Yeah, great move. That'll solve our problems. Well done. Be wary. 
triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Well, of course it's you. Why don't people love the grave robber? I need to I need to appreciate the grave robber more. You're right about that. Grave robber is doing work for us. Eldritch killing incense, too. You know, that's actually a pretty damn good one for this. Didn't even realize that's a damn fine trinket for this for this area. Let's get some stabs going, baby. Well, I mean, I, I really would have liked to prevent the resolve check on her, if you wouldn't mind not doing that anymore. That'd be pretty dope. I could probably kill you, but let's maybe try to kill him. I was half expecting the crit again. Okay. That's what I get for not attempting to murder him right there, I guess, but I can do it now, but I can also try to kill you. There we go. Shit. I was kind of planning on doing that anyway, going on the uppercut for the uh, Guardian. Stun, please. Thank you. Even got the knockback. Stab is still the best idea, I think, but the crit here is better suited for me. All right. Crimson Hype Midnight, how you doing? Great dodge. Just don't die. Just do Ooh, just don't die, though. Perched at the very precipice of Yo, but DJ Flock, just don't die, though, okay? Okay, buddy? We're gonna play the don't die game. A powerful blow. Want to know how you win? It's simple. Just don't die. I have faith in you. I got I got into the courtyard and I got fucked by a crocodile. That is a 100% accurate description of what happened. I love the don't die game. It's my favorite game. I love playing that as a kid. And an, and an adult. And you know what? Most of my life, I think I've been enjoying the Don't Die game. It's been real fun so far. Correction there, Crocosquito. That's a great name for it. I'm pretty terrified of the next time we have to run into that thing, too. Masterfully executed. Yay! Yay! Oh my god! Well done! And it is done. It is dead. Oh, the blood. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Take the bus. You gotta take the blood, right? You gotta take the blood. That is done. We got a shovel for this one. Good shit. Take a protection stone and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check out. Nope, never mind. I'm out. See ya. Bye. At last, wholesome marine life can flourish. If indeed there is such a thing. We have found the blood! Not, to, not today, Collector. Yeah, no thank you. We're gonna bounce. Give me the good stuff. Lurker. Lurkers, drop the, drop the highs in chat. Every time we get the lurker quirk, all the lurkers have to say hi in chat. That's the rule. That's the rule. We just made it up, but it is the rule. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Good evening, Evlo. Welcome on back. You're still alive, aren't you? Yeah, there you are. You just got the crimson curses all. Dirt Moo has achieved constant calm. Hey, Monarch Crazy. Huh. Interesting. It seems as though until we clear the courtyard, we will more than likely be continuously plagued by this town event. The town is abuzz and will remain that way. Therefore, Seems logical to me to try to put together a team to clear that place out. However, I don't really feel all that confident about any bunch of this lot here, so... How about, first of all, we fix Arakash. Get him some much-needed treatment. DJ Flock, fix you up too. I rules need some treatment too. Let me go fix all these fellers up. 
The fighting chick needs some love as well. We're gonna get all these folks ready to go again. So we've got some good options. Flagellant would be OP there. Flagellant is a pretty damn good option. I could do Furya. Arsiac. Lol's Poop Face. And Milis. What if we did that? Would this work? You have returned. Dr. Igni Spirus! 25 months in a row in the pile. Bring MMA. Ben, bring man alarms and back row attacks for the croc. That's the only real way to kill it. Hmm. I do need to go ahead and go over to the blacksmithing guild and see if I can't uh, make some improvements here. I don't know if I'm close enough on the blacksmith yet. Need a couple more deeds. I think I'll take a trade though. I think we can do that and then go ahead and grab. Let's go ahead and grab rank two armor. Now let's do weapons. Make ourselves a little stronger here. 5 to 8 and 5 to 11. And then, how about in the guild as well? We could probably go for rank 2 skills. Every creature has a weakness. The wise hero trains for what she will face. Heal one point from around for three rounds. We get our uh, slightly better massive heal from Redeem. More stress taken. Uh, Elise, I think you're good to go. You didn't miss it yet, Fish Prince. May not even be happening for a while yet. Are these worth it? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and take them. That one does increase the bleed from Exsanguinate. And that's more stress reduction. Yeah, that's probably good too. Now let's look at him. Much more effective stress relief. That's a better buff as well. I think these are all probably worth it. More bleed chance too. And then you get more healing with this. Hey, Fizzy Snipes. All right. All right, then. Oh, man. Am I actually going to do this here? How much confidence do I have going into the courtyard with this group? We get the tin flute from this. Which is really nice. Hey, Artemis. Welcome. Upgrade everything! Hmm. Am I strong enough? I don't have to go in yet. Same locations for go- Oh, it is a- it's a scripted one, then. Is it? Ooh, that means we're gonna have to run into the crocodile, then. So maybe we shouldn't do this, but uh, I could try it. I see- you know, the flagellant may be good enough. Do it! The chat says do it! Okay, fine, we'll do it. We'll do it! Y'all are crazy for this one. Y'all are crazy for this one. Let's go, boys. No regrets. No regrets at all. Why not, man? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take that in place of this. A little defensive of a man-at-arms there. More damage on the melee skills is probably a decent idea for the flagellant as well. A generous Black Sun, you! You give harbor to the grave walkers. You will pay for the transgression to the light. All of you will suffer, not the Gravewalker to live. The blood curse must not breach these borders. All who carry it must burn at the stake. Bum, bum, bum. Black Sun, thank you for the $5 tip. That is it. That is all we've got. Co-phobe fear of Eldritch. She is not good in the cove anymore. I can't take her there. Do you really have to meet the crocodile? It mentions to activate the three insect thingies. Yeah, you might not have to fight the crocodile. You might be able to avoid it, and I may have to try to do that. Because I'm not really sure I'm going to be able to take that thing down with these guys. I got to bring the blood. Or do I need to bring the blood? I may not have to bring the blood. But it's probably a good idea. We'll bring a couple more herbs. Again, I'm not 100% sure what I need with this stuff, so I'm going to bring a couple of each. Full stack of torches. You have to fight the croc? Oh, boy. Well, Jesus. 
I mean, I guess we'll try again, huh? Wildlife. Fear not the crocs. Seize the means of exsanguination. Let's do it. Let's do it. One more shovel. I'm ready. Let's go. The courtyard and gardens surrounding the manor were once a point of pride for the diligent custodians I employed. Great banquets and lavish social affairs were hosted here under the stars. Despite the expectation of propriety normally ascribed to those in our position, Some generous bestowals. we mocked the stoic melancholy of the moss-covered fountains and cherubic statues. Killer instincts! Our salacious trysts half hidden in the hedgerows. Our morality slipping ever deeper into the mud. Killer instinct, thank you for the fiver. Appreciate it, buddy. Let's go, let's go! Soaked and sinking. These stone terraces and sprawling gardens were the site of long-forgotten revelry and well-remembered regret. Welcome to the bear pile. DJ Falsifier. Welcome on into the pile, buddy. Thank you very much for the subscription. Appreciate it. Twitch Prime. Well, that's not good. Yep, bad start. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So this is scripted. We'll be running into basically the same stuff here, so... And you know what I'm just now realizing? Their bleed resistance is pretty pathetic. So I should take full advantage of that. That is wonderful for us. Uh, I also want to just make sure he dies. <laughs> there we go. And then, uh, I, don't, I probably don't need to heal, but I'm going to. Just to be safe, and then we'll go ahead and stun this one. Or attempt to, anyway. Mo's been trying to make a game while you do this, jeez. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. It's a hell of a multitask attempt. Of course, they got blood gushing out of every opening on their body. That's a fair point. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. They do seem to embrace the idea of bleeding, don't they? Ah, oh, gross. So nasty. The thirst. The curse on the flagellant! No! God damn it! It's so fast! Blood for the blood god! That's one down. I think I'll stress heal again. They take battle ballads soon. Might be a good thing, yeah, that's a possibility. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Perhaps that's what we want to have happen with him, huh? Perhaps the curse unlocks his full potential. The music, I know it's so good. Not bad, not bad. All the resistances. Not again. Don't do it again. Resistance? Well done. He is buffed up, though. Hurts himself. That's good for me, actually. Decimated. Very nice. Yeah, no, I don't want him to die to a heart attack. I might have to do a little bit of stress healing on him, too, but I'm going to make sure... Make sure I'm keeping an eye on that. I'm going to take off his stress move as well. Doesn't make a lot of sense to keep that available. As the fiend falls... A faint hope blossoms. This might be a curse. Okay, okay. Angry Toe! Thank you for the bits, buddy. Yeah, lots of folks here. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in today, everybody. I appreciate it. I know there's a... Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I don't actually have the uh, viewer count open anymore these days, but I know there's quite a few folks here. I really appreciate y'all tuning in. Thank you. All right, man. Stale Gakin, hello, welcome. Mm-hmm. All right, so we know that if we use blood on this, like, it has some sort of prompt, but I don't think it actually does anything. So what if I just try it at... Ah, see, yeah, I'm pretty sure every interaction with it that is not... blood is maybe gonna be bad. Let's take off Endure and swap it off for... Oh, I'd like to have Reign of Sorrows, actually. Kinda wish I had that option. 
I guess we could do... Yeah, Suffer's not a bad option. Because we'll probably get bled a lot from these guys. That works. That'll do, pig. There's a handful of you. Yeah, no kidding. Thank you very much. Sweet relief. As it turns the eggs to ash. Now remember now the, uh... The hag, or whatever the hell it was in here in the other room that we give blood to, which will be nice too. Let's maybe go ahead and give him a little bit of stress healing. I mean, I can bring him down to zero stress and still have him be rapturous. I'm not really even considering that possibility. And there's a one-shot kill on that guy. Very nice. Let's heal you as well. Shovel in the flower pot. Oh, okay, cool. Gotcha. And let's heal him up just a bit. Just to make sure he's not going to be in danger here. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. I'm really beginning to think that... Uh... Oh, why did I think he was dead? I'm really beginning to think that the flagellant's ranged move would have been a really good option to have in the... In the crocodile fight, kind of regretting not unlocking that one, but hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, is drinking blood for the cursed guy good for him? The uh, blood Confidence on the crimson cursed the folks. Crumbled. I'll just go ahead and use one so you can see it. Oh, he doesn't want to do it. There we go. So you can see it just it only lasts a few rounds, unfortunately, but it is a pretty solid buff. I believe if you starve your vampires, you make them more powerful. Really? That's cool. I love the sound effects in this place, man. The sound design for the court for, for the courtyard is pretty fantastic. I'm gonna pop a torch real quick for the buff. Probably take quite a few of those actually into the uh, into the fight with the crocodile before before that room. And I'm pretty good here with the harvest. I'm not sure how long the curse lasts. I'm very unfamiliar with that mechanic. Obviously, we've been cursed quite a bit, so I'm I'm guessing it's probably not too difficult to deal with. Considering how commonly it can take place. Nice. Opening up an opportunity for maybe getting another curse here. I'm not sure if the... Oh, they can apply it. Okay, yeah. Gather the blood is the one that actually applies the... Uh, the curse there. So we're looking to avoid that move whenever possible. Let's go ahead and heal the Jester. I need to allow the Flagellant to get low enough in his health so he can actually use his heal on the Arbalist here. Weirdly, that's the situation I find myself in. Waiting for him to take more damage. And we'll use a bandage there if it let me. But that's good. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Yay! Now it must be carried home. Throw that on you, okay? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? A momentary abatement. Not bad, not bad. Got a torch for these boys. I think I'm gonna go up first. Cause I didn't actually do that last time. Oh, that's stress relief as well, that's right. Shall let the Jester do it on the next one. Maybe he won't actually interact with these things improperly. Hooray, yeah. More blood. Ooh, and another one of these. I did miss that. All right, more stress for everybody else. That's okay. I should be able to one-shot this guy easily. There's the bleed. A death by inches. And how about we do this again? Between Eldritch Abomination and Vampirism, I'll take the latter. I don't know, man. It's a tough call. The ground quakes. These are equally disturbing creatures. Okay. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Might as well give him that. The blood. Two down. 
The maddening whine of multitudinous wings abates. Let us hope that is the end of things. God damn it. Why not stress heal the flagellant? I can and probably will. And have sort of been over the course of the last few rounds, but hasn't really been a top priority either. How about uh, we put blood in there? That makes sense. Nope. All right. Uh, probably just interact with it, right? Let's go ahead and let you, or no, let's uh, let you do it. Yay! Goody. Holy water might be good there. Yeah, that seemed like a decent bet. Probably should have tried the interactions. I need to bring more curios out. Or not more curios. I need to bring more provisions out to interact with the curios so that I can do some, uh, some theory craft and some trial and error on what those actually are. Oh, fuck. Craving. <laughs> oh, shit. Bloodlust. I am the fury. I will drink from my enemies. Oh, my God. Cool. Wouldn't it make sense to make the cursed character interact with the blood? Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, man, that's neat. Blood for the blood god! He is buffed up! Plus 25% damage, how about a one-shot? Minimum! Got the bleed still. Bola will knock them both out. Ooh, harvest! Yeah, harvest. Oh, jeez. Enraging slight! He insulted me, and brought me forward. That's hilarious. Fuck you, man! Just do it! Little bitch. Infallible servitude. That's a protect me, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's cool. Okay, let's just get the kill here. These two are mildly annoying, but not really worth addressing. Just quite yet. Smiga1, hey, welcome. The thirst again! That might be it! Ah, oh, the curse! This expedition is doomed! Doomed! Here I will strike for blood! Oh, ho, 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 he's pissed! Get him! Yet again with the minimum. Not quite enough. Oh, and dodges the thirst. Envy storm, we are born of the blood, made men by the blood, undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. By the gods, fear it bare. Executed with impunity. I fear no blood. I fear no vampire. Back to the pit. Back to the fucking pit, baby. Boom! My god. Success so clearly in view. Have some blood. Or is it merely a trick of the light? That sounds tasty. How about we uh swap off the jade maybe? No, let's go ahead and dump the bandage, although we might need that. Might need that for the crocodile fight. Turner turns. Trying to, buddy, trying to. Doing my best here. Really got to get some heals going soon. How about we try the herb? No good. Uh, the torch also did not do it for this one. Anti-venom? Nope. Suffering! There's power in the bear. For those with the fortitude to use it. Nothing. All right. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Zod, Jake! The 500 bits! Thank you, pal. The names for adventurers. Yeah, we're doing a uh, raffle, actually, to uh, name the characters in this one. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Oh, right, it's the shovel. Yeah, my bad. I forgot about that. Sorry. Totally forgot this shovel interaction there. I think it's time to eat for you. Ooh. Sedated. And it looks like I think this is the crocodile, so let's go ahead and super buff before we get in here. Literally paid for in blood, yes. 
All the torches? All the torches. All the torches. Why not? Give him all the blood. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Again. Oh man, again. <laughs> again. Again. Plus 20 speed. I am gonna regret that. Oh god. Tasty, tasty blood. Okay. We'll do suffer. Obviously gonna be trying to use ex exsanguinate and redeem. Yes. Yes. Yes, this is all... This will work. Hopefully. Blood for everybody. Let's go. A hideous mutation. A hideous one! Natural and abhorrent. My goodness. Let's start here. Because he's got way too much stress now, and I can also stress heal further in the future rounds. My life for the Crimson Fluid! Oh boy. Oh boy. How about... more death blow resistance and 30% protection? Not that this will transfer anything at the moment, but... it is a nice buff and I can't hit him yet. Come on up, buddy! Yeah, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Ow! Oh, I, I can't... Oh, man, you know what? I might have to mark you and then deal the damage, but I also need to help out my Jester. Welcome to the Bear Pile. S1391470. Welcome to the Bear Pile with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much for your subscription, buddy. Appreciate it. I'm going to do this. And the Arbalist might be the only one to really deal the damage here. Oh, boy. Okay, there's a big buff. It's only got 50% stun resistance, so I might actually be able to hit it with this. I should probably also... Oh, I can't defend her, damn it. But I can bolster. Speed buff? Yeah. God damn it. That was kind of the one I was hoping to buff. But I am also super buffed, so I guess I don't really need to worry about that too much. Okay, slice off. Bleed resistance is not terrific. Let's try. Okay. Clearly need to punish here. I'm going to go ahead and herb as well to remove that little bit of accuracy loss and get super buffed again. 22! With the debuff and the bleed. Let's go. Let's go, boys. He's going to heal. Okay. Okay. I can live with that. Still marked. Let's do it. 14 damage. Oh, shit. Teetering on the brink. All right. Facing the abyss. All right, man. See, now, I don't know if I necessarily even want to knock him back. But I do want to try for the stun. Okay. That is very good. Actually, that's perfect. That gives us a slice off. Holy shit, that's nice. Another stack of bleed. Punish! Very helpful. Bring him back. Let's play this don't die game. Let's do it, babe. Only one more round of that. Oh, and another bleed probably. Yeah. Oh, nice. He resisted it. True test. Hold fast or expire. He also does not have his stun resistance, but the crush might be a little bit more damage, but I think I'd rather take this chance. Come on. No. I no longer need to be tested. See how I shine. More stress. Punish him! Bleed! Yes! Submerge, that's a heal. Damn it. A momentary abatement. More dodge. Slice off. Can't miss with the jester, can I? Oh, but I did miss with that. Still does not have his resistance. I'll try it again, and even if it not even if it knocks back, that's okay. Yes! So close. Let's keep him alive. 
Come on, buddy. That's good. Got the bleed again. He's done. KO Croc, that is right. Crocodile dead D. More like. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Shameful shroud. The abomination only. I must hide from the world. Gambit Man! Another 5,000 bits from Gambit. Fuck yeah, buddy. Thank you very much for the big old cheer. Give me some bear greeds and such. Up in the chat for that one. Hell yeah, man. Thank you. More like crocodile. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Let's make a handbag. Hell yeah. We got ourselves some new textures. Ooh. That was a cool trap. Did you see that? I probably should have disarmed that. But that was neat. All right. One more fight, right? No. Oh, thank God. It is done. It is done. We left run one room behind, but I'm willing to take it. Let's go. Get the hell out of there. In those younger oh, years, cool. my home was a hive of unbridled hedonism. A roiling apiary where instinct and impulse were indulged with wild abandon. A bewitching predator slipped in amidst the swarm of tittering sycophants. Though outwardly urbane, I could sense in her a mocking thirst. Driven half mad by cloying vulgarity, I plotted to rid myself of this lurking threat in a grand display of sadistic sport. But as the moment of murder drew nigh, the gibbous moon revealed her inhuman desires in all their stultifying hideousness. Ah! Succubus! Uh. Ah! There we go. Just had to scream enough. Oh, yeah, I forgot we got this too. Tin flute. The last treasures of a king. Hot diggity damn. Oh, yeah, and Arsiac with the Crimson Curse along with Mealus. All right. <laughs> Wood still tapped at. These swarming fiends carry a pernicious plague. A sickness so virulent, so insidious. It is more a curse than a mere disease. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Coelho Kanth! Welcome to the Bear Pile, Coelho. Thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. All regions will experience a growing infestation. Hotfix update from Red Hook. Just got the notification on Steam. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm guessing that fixes the weird issues with the subtitles there. Not actually sure on Monkey Diablo. I'm going to try to push myself a little today, see how long we can go. Okay, well then. What that means, of course... Just as I feared. Now loosed from their brackish prison, they will spread like locusts across our land. As you just heard Wayne say, that does mean that the vampire enemies are now going to be showing up in all the other areas, too. So that's a bunch of fun. What is this, though? Oh, the Baron! The Baron invites you to join his twisted games. Baron's last trophy. Oh, if they have the Crimson Curse, cool. Sharpened letter opener. Nice. Another set bonus there. Lots of crests from this one. Yeah, it's got to be veteran level. Okay, so this is a little while, a little ways away. And also, look at this. Epic. Epic length dungeon with no campfires. That's interesting. Very curious to see what that's all about. For now, though, obviously going to make some progress elsewhere. I think I want to go maybe something simpler. One of these Explore 90 seems like a good option. Book of Constitution is not really all that great either. All right, then. Oh, man, I gotta... I gotta calm down for a second. I feel like... That was intense. That was wild. Another flagellant. 
Can I get it? I could dump somebody. Maybe. But I don't know if I want to dump anyone. What about Eve? Sorry, Eve. Not, not, nothing personal. Eve is thirsting for the blood. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Eve. I think you gotta go. I think you gotta go if I can get another flagellant. You only rank one. Yeah. I'm sorry. Tell you what, Eve. At least you got the Crimson Curse, right? Send this one to journey elsewhere. For we have need of sterner stock. And it looks like you can't actually only have one flagellant. We can indeed have more, more than one, so that's good. Gilpin. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Zaphod 42! Welcome to the Bear Pile, my friend. Thank you for the support with Twitch Prime. Appreciate that subscription. Let's go ahead and lock up the, uh, the chat again here. Let me reset this raffle. Reopen the raffle. Uh, throw this in sub-only mode again real fast. Subscribers, go ahead and hit me with that exclaim raffle to be included in the uh, drawing for the newest member of the roster here. And while we're figuring that out, let me go ahead and look through all these again. I may want to go ahead and get rid of Vertigo on Relativistic. I'm going to leave that affliction on Arsiac, obviously. How about we go ahead and heal up Milis, who may need to uh, address his Crimson Curse in due time here as well. Crazy Aho! OP combo, Leper, Crusader, Occultist, and then what else do you have? Your Plague Doctor's really good combo, man. I, I hear you, dude. I hear you. Plenty of good combos. All right. Newest member of the roster. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Swear to God, the raffle chose this. Don't... Don't you dare be accusing me of any sort of collusion here. Hey, Elise. I'll even... I'll, screen, I'll screenshot this shit. Proof of purchase. It's you. It's you, babe. Rigged. <laughs> Look, chat. Look, chat. Swear to God, it's right there. You can see it for yourself. There we go. <laughs> Seems fishy to you. Photoshopped. Immediately photoshopped, yeah. Oh, goodness. Bear Tiger Rider? What's up, buddy? I like seeing that name in this chat. How are you? Don't murder me, Bear. I'm gonna do my best, babe. We're gonna bring you out more than likely right now, in fact. To not get you murdered. That's the idea. Clearly, that's the goal. Bloody Dice is a really good trinket, actually. Let's get that. Let's get that for our Jester. I like it. I like it. Crunchy and Milk! Tweeted out the stream for you. Hopefully some of my friends will have the time to come out and watch. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for sharing it around. Appreciate that. I have the feeling that this guy could even work just up in spot one. Right? Like, he doesn't have to be in spot two. I just sort of have been doing that because it seems correct. But no, he can, he can totally be right there. Hey, Dr. Plague, how you doing? Stoked people are playing this. One of the ones I love watching hate playing. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the same for a lot of folks, actually. Pretty popular on Twitch today, though. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see a lot more folks playing it. All right. Going into the wheel, then. It's not going to be a Plague Doctor. I could go, uh... Hmm. What kind of synergies do I get with this guy? How about an Antiquarian? We could do that Antiquarian uh, Protect Me that we were talking about. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Yeah, this will work. And then what else do these guys need? They need a leper up front could be nice. Let's go ahead and do that. And then how about... How about maybe like... A grave robber. Antiquarian plus flagellant is good times. Chris, hey man. That's Red Hook Chris in chat. Everybody send some bear hugs and love to Red Hook Chris, the whole team over at Red Hook. This, this has been... I'm only, what, like three, three and a half hours in so far, but I am fucking thrilled with this DLC, man. So good. Thank you guys for making it. All right. 
Let's set this up. I think this is a good team. Oh, yeah, we got the Tin Flute now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's use that. And uh, Protection Stone might not be a bad idea for him either. Reduces the speed. That's probably not that big of a concern, though. Blight Stone, nothing really else much that we can do. Oh, wait, hold on. We got a few other ones that we forgot, didn't we? Yeah, there we go. That's better. So I was going to say, I thought I had some Warrior's Bracers or something like that. So Tin Flute and the Health Stone is pretty damn good for him up front. This will be on YouTube for sure, Dr. Plague. Yeah, absolutely. How about instead of that, we go like that and then maybe even throw... Oh, he really doesn't have a lot of health, does he? And do I even want to do this to sacrifice speed? Jason, hey, welcome. Zach, it's easy. Easy recommendation, dude. Even just a few hours in, it's just... Oh, it's so good. So, so good. Look at all these debuff charms. Alright, I think that's going to do it. I don't want to lose any little bit of dodge on these guys in the back. And, of course, Protect Me is up. And all that good stuff. Grave Robber does have a Blight. And, she, yeah, we can debuff to lose Blight Resistance on those guys. That might work out. That might work out. We have Endure here as well. Endure's a good option. I actually have Reign of Sorrows this time. I'm very excited to use that. Along with the Punish. I think I'll... I think I'm actually going to sub Reclaim out for uh, either one of these two. Exanguinate or Redeem. Maybe even both, actually. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's get both of those big ones unlocked. I really like having all of his skills available, actually. It just feels a lot better that way. I'm going to keep this option available. Sanguinate is just so nice, but it's good to have those two as well, as long as he's up in, like, that high high health pool range. We'll maybe just use that for now. God, this is such an incredible move, though. I think I'm going to have this one equipped all the time, and then I might just have this one be sort of like a specialized skill. It, it definitely has Apollo. I don't think it really even need, needed reigniting for me. I think I've been on the hype train here for a good long while now. Yeah, this is probably good. I can actually benefit from lowering the bleed resistance as well. Maybe I want to keep the uh, flashing daggers equipped. We could take off Pick to the Face and throw this on. My heart is pounding. Don't kill me there. <laughs> You worried about it, babe? You'll be okay. You'll be okay. I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking out for you. I'll feel pretty terrible about it if I end up killing you in your first run. That's going to be pretty devastating. All right, let's do it. Don't need the blood. Yep, I'm amazing, Lee. Better make sure you don't dehydrate yourself. Be mindful of your voice. I am. I, you, I appreciate that. It's actually a genuine concern for my health. Thank you. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm trying to pace myself. I know I'm I'm getting a little overexcited already, and this is going to be a little bit longer of a stream for me, so... I'm trying to keep the pace, but... Thanks. Thanks for the two bucks, too. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Let me get some water here, actually. Mm. Who is Alicia Chantel? It's my wife. It's my lovely wife. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. And she streams just about every weekday. If you want to go follow her on Twitch as well, it's twitch.tv slash Elise Chantel. She was just doing some uh, dead cells right before this. Let's do it, baby. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. My wife. Malformed with misintent. And it just... Good shit. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Just want to make sure you had that. Okay, yeah, good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, right, yeah, no, the antiquarian. No, that's that's probably important, too. God, I... I gotta drill that into my head, man. Keep forgetting. That hasn't actually been revealed yet, Brian. Maybe coming up soon, though. Coming up soon. I'm trying to keep it a surprise for now. All right, let's get this started. Almost certainly gonna be starting off basically every fight that way. 
This seems like a pretty good option, especially moving before the flagellant. The ground quakes. Yeah, that'll do. And luckily, he actually has the means by which to uh, reduce some stress on himself, so that's good too. Reign of Sorrows for the kill on them, maybe. That is a serious damage reduction. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Don't murder me. I'm trying. Press this advantage. <laughs> Give them no quarter. I don't know if you heard her. Don't murder me. This is the dankest. Supersonic Seagull. Supersonic Seagull with a 420. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they changed Intimidate. I didn't even notice. That's only a single target spell now, but it does reduce damage, which is pretty cool. All right, then. Quality stream interaction, having a viewer in his house to talk to him. You know what, man? <laughs> Always taking it to the next level with this broadcast. Random stream viewers will be invited to his house to have intimate conversation. Intimate conversation. Highwayman also got skill changes. I didn't see the Highwayman skill changes. What did he get? Or did I see that? No, the tracking shot. Yeah, the tracking shot. That's right. That, that's the one that got switched up. So the tracking shot got changed. Bounty Hunter got an entire new skill to replace the, uh, the hook and slice, which was never really all that fantastic to begin with. He's dead. He's close. You're dead too. Very good. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Felix! Starting a petition to have Elise's name changed to a different class so Bear doesn't end up on the couch on the coach for eternity, more like on the couch for eternity. I I feel okay about it, man. The flagellant the flagellant's gonna survive. Although if we use the flagellant the way that the flagellant can be used, that cuts on its own. aka stalling on death's door with him, we may be a little bit more risk prone. Success. Defender seal and the bleed stone. Well, the bleed stone's a pretty good option for you. Might as well take that. And then I definitely want to give him this one, which means I got to do that. And I probably won't even end up keeping the the. Uh, Crusader trinket. <laughs> You're so flagellant. <laughs> Ooh, the poop and fart jokes have been been coming full force today, huh? I've clearly matured. Oh, I've got the, the antiquary to get, didn't I? My bad. Can be healed, my bad, sorry. But never hidden. Sorry, I was busy with the toilet humor. Might as well give up at this point. Can't even do proper curio interaction. Jesus Christ, Bear Taffy. Pick up the pace, buddy. You gonna go take it easy, Eve? Sorry for your premature ejection from the squad. I'm also sorry for phrasing it that way. Have a wonderful evening. Getting the flagellant to death's door and then protecting him with a man at arm seems like a good idea. Ah, oh, yeah, for sure. I was thinking about that too. Like a great team seems like um, antiquarian highwayman man at arms flagellant. Like I really want to use that squad at some point in the near future. That sounds like it'd be so good. You got a ton of synergy. All those reposts. You got so much protection. Tons of damage. Despite the fact that you've got both a defensive character and an antiquarian, you still have, like, a ton of damage potential with that squad. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be looking to get that one going. Hopefully. Yeah, new character. This is the Flagellant. It is incredibly good. It's just, like, it's insanely good, man. It doesn't really have a huge drawback yet. I, re I recognize that, like, the... The self-inflicted wounds and whatnot, and then the risks you take with his affliction. Of course, there's those factors there to be considered, but... Even with that in mind, he's, he's fucking incredible. 
He does a shitload of damage at the apprentice level, too. It's like it's insane how hard he hits at this low of a rank. Why are so many streamers playing DD right now? You got a new, uh, new DLC drop today, buddy. It's the new hotness. Kind of doubt that I'm actually going to be able to take advantage of what I just did there, but... Oh, well. Yeah, it's high risk, high reward, right, but... Like, the risk doesn't really seem to be all that present until he's actually on death's door, you know? Like, right now, I'm obviously not really worried about it. And the fact that he got Ren the marked twice and dodged it, and I'm weirdly disappointed by that, is also very telling of the kind of character he is. Oh yeah, Elise, what care what uh give me a one, two, three, or four, Elise. Have a look at your character palette options. Let me see what you want to go with. And if you don't choose three, I'm gonna call you a racist. I'm sorry. That's just that's just how it has to be. I have not heard him yet, Shining Fade. I'm excited though. Now I go with red. Uh, that one? That looks good. You fucking racist. Do it! Yes! The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. No blight. No blight. All blight. Close to what I asked for. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Bear, you know what happens in the champion dungeon. They'll probably get a lot trickier. Yeah, you're probably right. I may be, uh... I'm a little overconfident right now, if you can believe it. I know that's not normally my MO, but... I'm feeling a little confident today. A death by inches. What are his camping skills? He only has four. Lashes Anger, Lashes Solace, Lashes Kiss, and Lashes Cure. It's another very interesting element of this character, of course. Looks like we're nearly done. Probably gonna be one last room here. Don't forget. Though the Flagellant himself is actually a healer, believe it or not. So this is not a healerless run, as much as it looks like one. A momentary abatement. Only six more food, but I think we're done here. Let's find out. Sweet. I'm gonna get a little greedy here with the antiquarian until. So. The subtitles are actually an option all the time. I just prefer not having them. Yo, the flagellant in the dark looks pretty awesome. I like that a lot. Flashing daggers. Impressive. The double crit! Not bad. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Hell yes. And uh no, I didn't download the hotfix. I think as the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I gotta reboot to get that right, so I might just wait until tomorrow. We've not healed at all. I'm pretty sure I didn't heal once through this dungeon. And he's dead. Yep, stress heal time. Four, four, there it is. Now I can't I can't prioritize the inventory space the journals require, unfortunately, especially not in the early game. Gently. This is how a life is taken. I also don't know whether or not they actually made more journal pages in the DLC, so I'm not, not exactly uh looking to Make the space for that to find out just yet. All right, there we go. Paths and roads bring soldiers and supplies. Let them arrive on Harried. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Weddle 79, welcome to the Bear Pile, buddy. Thank you very much for the subscription. Appreciate that a lot. Enjoy your badge and emotes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, welcome to the Bear Pile, buddy. Whoa, thank you very that's much. Me, that's me talking to y'all. Whoops. <laughs> oh God. Good old loop. Cool. All right. 
No quirks, huh? <laughs> it bears me your work. We found it. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Arsiak has come down from the bloodlust. Huh. Okay. Ma Milis observed unsavory activities and refuses to take part in organized prayer again. Well, shit. Alright, guys. I am going to take a few minutes break here to have some lunch. We've been going for about nearly four hours now. I'd love to play some more today, and I am exhausting myself in doing so, but I can't stop. I can't stop yet. I'm having so much fun. I love this. I love this DLC. So we're gonna play a little bit more, and my, my voice is also beginning to go, so I'm trying to take it a little easier on myself. But anyway, give me a few minutes here. I'm gonna take a quick break for lunch, and we'll be, uh, we'll be back in just a few with more Crimson Court, so hold on. Hold tight. <laughs> 